Sweater, sweater Better remember the name Sweater, sweater Gonna make some video games Sweater, sweater Subscribe now or live your life in shame Bully has a lot to offer in terms of gameplay features, but one thing that I've never really liked for the most part has been the minigames in Bully. Don't get me wrong, some of them are fun, but there are some that flat out bore me, and some that even make me want to rage quit the game. So without any further ado, let's get to number 10. Number 10. Go-Kart Races I know that some of you are going to vehemently disagree with me on this one, but just hear me out. The objective here is to be the first contestant to reach the finish line. Okay, I, I can deal with that, that's fine. In fact, I can deal with it so well that I don't even have to try. The other opponents might seem a bit difficult at first, but I often find myself running laps around them. There's just no challenge to be found. The only semblance of any challenge is during the first few seconds of the race as your opponents slam into you and make you occasionally drive into obstacles. But it usually doesn't take me more than 30 f***ing seconds to go from being last in place to being in the lead. I like the idea of go-kart races, I really do, but they're just too damn easy. There's no fun to be found when the challenge cannot be found either. Number 9. Music. Here's another cool idea that ended up being oversimplified. Hitting two buttons repeatedly in sync with a song is not really that difficult. The only times I found myself struggling with this minigame was on the Xbox 360 version of the game, and it wasn't even due to my own incompetence. The game just sucks at detecting you pressing both the right trigger and the left trigger at the same time. So it's not even a matter of difficulty, it's just a matter of the game thinking that I've done something wrong when I obviously haven't. Not to mention that this minigame is used in one of the most heavily disliked bully missions. Wanna guess which one? Oh yeah, Nutcracken. F***ing Nutcracken. Even the introduction cutscene doesn't work properly. And to make things worse, you have to perform three goddamn Christmas songs. I don't even like listening to this stuff on the radio, so why the hell did Rockstar think that this was a good idea? Yeah, uh, let's take those songs that everybody has heard a million times already on the radio and make Jimmy play three of them. It doesn't help that you really don't have anything else to pay attention to. The stage performers are kind of interesting for about three seconds, and then you realize that they're just looping the same couple animations over and over again. At the end of the mission, you unlock this horrendous this costume that I have not found myself even once wearing outside of this mission. Yay. Number 8. Shop Class. Shop Class has to be the most infuriating minigame to people who haven't played Bully as much as I have. Nowadays, I can complete most of the shop classes with ease, but I do remember getting really frustrated as a kid whenever I was far into a shop class minigame only to f it all up by circulating the analog stick the wrong way. Maybe you're just not cut out for this. And then what? Oh, well, it's back to square one. Redo everything you just did and just hope that you don't mess it up this time. This minigame is unforgiven, way too difficult, and just not interesting. Number 7. Consumo. Oh, you all knew that Consumo would make the list. This minigame is not only way too difficult for most players, but it's also not even a fully developed minigame. Wanna know why? Well, for one, if you somehow manage to get a really high score, then the game sprites will become so big that you can actually see the other characters and items spawn. To make things worse, it's impossible to win at this game, despite the fact that a winning theme song actually exists in the game files. Consumo's difficulty was so bad that Rockstar even had to lower Fatty's high score from 1,010 pounds to 800 pounds on Anniversary Edition. It's that bad. Number 6. Geography 
Geography has always been one of those subjects in school that bored me to death. And the same goes for a lot of other people. There's just something about staring at a map and trying to memorize locations that simply doesn't appeal to people. You know what Rockstar did? They took that very same mundane task and cheaply implemented it in Scholarship Edition as a quote-unquote exclusive feature. The only reason that I complete these classes is to unlock the collectible icons on your map. Which, if you're going for the collectibles, is kind of cheating. You're basically being given every single location of the hidden items on the map. But aside from that, the unlockables you get for completing Geography class all suck. Number 5. Math. Speaking of school subjects I hated, here we have math. But instead of letting me take my time to process what my answer is going to be, the game gives me a very small time limit. So much so that most of the people I've seen attempt math class 5 had to pause the game on several occasions just so they did not run out of time. When you have to pause the game to complete a minigame, you know that the time limit is way too f***ing high. And what the hell kind of questions are these? Which of the following is the fastest? A lawnmower? A human being? An airplane? Or a f***ing slice of pizza? What the f*** does this have to do with math? I'm not measuring their speed, I'm just giving a simple answer to a stupid question. And what's with the pizza slice? Is this just some kind of sick joke Mr. Hattrick came up with? You're giving me this insanely small time limit, and you're wasting my time by asking me if a f***ing slice of pizza is faster than an aircraft. Number 4. Keep Ups. Keep Ups is so, so boring. Alright, the goal here is to keep the ball up in the air until the game finally tells me alright that's enough you win, at which point my opponent cries and runs off. All I have to do is align the analog sticks in the right direction and I win. I just don't see the challenge in that. What is worse is that you can actually cheat on the PC version. Just get a 360 controller, enable it in-game and rotate the analog sticks until the minigame ends and voila, I win. Number 3. Monkey Fling. Remember Monkey Fling? Yeah, me neither. I keep forgetting it actually exists. This honestly feels like a generic and very forgettable game that you could have easily stumbled across on new grounds back in 2005. The objective here is to literally throw your sh up in the air to either kill the enemies above you or to get some bananas so that your hyperactive digestive system can produce yet more monkey sh Whenever I play this horrendous piece of monstrosity, I keep actually forgetting that I'm playing bully. It's that bad. It is honestly very amazing how bad this minigame is. Just get this, Monkey Fling is so bad that you actually end up being immersed in what feels like a completely different game. <laughs> and not in a good way. Number 2, Nut Shots. This is yet another minigame that makes you feel like you're not even playing a Rockstar title. When I first heard the minigame's name, Nutshots, I expected some kind of challenge where Jimmy has to survive getting repeatedly punched in the balls. But even that is not as painful as this freak show. You have three types of enemies. Wasps that shoot some kind of yellow projectile, probably piss. Bats that have some kind of radiation being fired at you. <sighs> and then you have this reprehensible piece of degenerate shit. The eagle takes a huge amount of nuts before it finally crashes and burns. So your best bet is to just mash the fire button until the motherfucker finally succumbs to his well-deserved injury and dies a painful death. And speaking of painful, just listen to the sound effect that plays when you fire projectiles. Now imagine attempting to beat the Nutshot's high score. You would have to sit down for approximately 10 goddamn minutes, 
while listening to the projectile sound effect over and over again. There's a reason why I don't even attempt this minigame unless I absolutely have to. It's poorly designed, it's repetitive, it's way too difficult, the sound effects are painful, and it takes up way too much goddamn time. Number 1. Multiplayer if there's ever been a time where I've been thoroughly disappointed in Rockstar, it definitely had to do with the so-called multiplayer feature in Scholarship Edition. People were genuinely excited for this feature. Two players wreaking havoc in Bully? Sign me up! The only problem being that you're restricted to playing these boring, tedious minigames. Seven of which made it to this list. When I was about 12 years old and I first started playing Scholarship Edition after picking it up at a local GameStop, I did my best to convince my younger brother to play multiplayer with me. And even he, at age 8, doubted the quality of the multiplayer in Bully. Wanna know why? Because he knew right off the bat from looking at the multiplayer menu option that this was just gonna be a lazy minigame multiplayer experience. Seeing two-player minigames actually made me think that I was actually gonna be able to do some fun mini-missions with a friend of mine. Maybe the game would let me play Smash It Up against a friend locally. Or maybe I could compete against somebody in a bike race. Or maybe, just f***ing maybe, I would be allowed to beat up some bullies with the help of a friend. <sighs> but no. Instead, what we got was this lazily shoveled in piece of garbage menu option that I guarantee 90% of people have only tried a couple times before getting bored of it. I actually considered having a friend of mine join me in some local bully multiplayer, but instead of playing it sober, we were either gonna get really, really drunk, or really, really influenced by a perfectly legal tobacco product. But even as the stupid teenager I was at the time, I knew that there was no amount of alcohol or tobacco that could enhance Bully's local multiplayer in the slightest. This sucked. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? And if so, why? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it for this video. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.